there's one. Oh. Oh crap. Is my other rod going? Oh. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabe and this is Tree Ponder SC Fishing. And today we're catching catfish. We're out here on Lake Moultrie and we got all kinds of different baits that we're gonna try. I got marshmallows, I got a chicken uh, cutlet little concoction, I have shrimp and I have cup bait. So let's see what's gonna happen. They all feel big. They all feel big. Ah. Is it? Ah. Uh -huh. That one's a decent size. Guys, now, I've been out here for a while today, and I didn't really start recording until I started catching them, because I wanted to figure out what bait they're eating. And I got some marinated chicken that I tried with olive oil and garlic and, and, uh, and Kool-Aid. I tried marshmallows. I tried cut bait. And the only thing that's been working today is shrimp. 42 feet of water and I'm about to pass over something that looks pretty juicy. Anybody was ever wondering what my favorite uh, boat snack is? It's Lutz. Lutz. I don't know how to pronounce that. Ripple fried pickle, fried dill pickle chips. My favorite. Heck, when you're catfishing, everything happens at once. Goodness gracious. Yep. There's one. It's probably small. No? Maybe not. Golly, that is down his gullet.
Oh crap. Is my other rod going? Oh, this one. Ah. Another small one. Another small one. I think I got another small one on that. On that rod. Oh, you slime my line, huh? Let's get this one out and then we'll check this other, other line. Alright, so the marinated chicken works. It's a good blue. Guys, let me explain to you how a drift rig works. You have a drift weight sock that basically is like a little piece of canvas that has a bunch of round BBs in it or bearings um, for weights and it'll drag along the bottom. You'll have a bead, a swivel, a bead and a swivel, and then you'll have about 16 to 24 inches of uh, leader, have a float and a circle hook. And then you just get out in your lake's current and let it drift and you catch catfish. It works pretty well. Use whatever bait you want. Right now that was on a piece of stink bait and a uh, gulp liver. It works. Just keep tension on. Bring your rod tip up. There you go. Now we're talking. Oh yeah. Little guy. Hold on. Come in the net. All right. Take up slack. Take up. I mean, uh, open your bail. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, when they're weight on the bottom like that, they get heavy. Oh, that's a that's a better size one. It looks identical to the one you just caught, really. <laughs> I thought it was the same one for a second, but you think it's different. It might be. All right, guys. So we got our catfish right here. Let me show you the harvest. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's my best catfish harvest ever. Look at that. We're about to go back home and we're going to kick cook us up something catfish. I'm not really sure what. It's going to be like barbecue fried sandwiches, I think. I don't know. But we're going to have a blast. Alright, so before we say goodbye today guys, 
I just wanted to take a minute to go over the drift rig uh, one more time. I know I went through it previously, but well, I know I went through it uh, earlier in the video, but this time I just want to be a little bit more clear and so you guys can see it um, up close. So we're just going to break it down one more time. All right. So we have the drift weight that's loose on the line, very similar to a Carolina rig. We have a rubber bead protecting the knot on the swivel. Okay, see the rubber bead protecting the knot on the swivel? That's filled with seaweed. All right, then we have a leader line. This one is 20 pound test, but you guys can, because uh, I was going for eaters, not giants. This fishing pole behind me. Okay, so we got a leader. This one is about 18 inches a leader to 24 inches. We have a float that we can adjust depending on the weight of the bait or what kind of bait we're using. You take that pin out and you can adjust this this float wherever you want and then put the pin back in and then we have whatever size circle hook you want to use you don't even have to use a circle hook but I do and this is kind of a more rigid or octopus hook that I prefer okay so that's one version of the drift rig and mind you this is set up very similar to a Carolina rig the biggest difference is this sock weight with the ball bearings in it okay and they make them um, they make them bigger or smaller all depending on um, the current that you're drifting in for the lake current that I'm just kind of just drifting with whatever current the lake is going on this is perfectly fine I'm not sure how much it weighs guys um, I don't you I just kind of go by feel all right and this rig is a Cast King Sharky 3 with a bait, bait feeder switch on a ugly stick catfish rod and this is a seven foot medium heavy um, 15 to 30 pound line half to three ounce lure weights okay so that's that's this rig that's one of my catfish rigs this is my this is the one I use for stink bait this is just a lose cat daddy these are very very inexpensive uh, nothing nothing special real it's like four to one gear ratio it's one ball bearing but this is great for my stink bait rod and the only thing difference on this rod that's what I use for stink bait you put this in the the jar of stink bait and then you smush it down in there you'll see a clip of me doing that and I don't use any float on the leader here because the stink bait sponge lifts it up out of the water enough so you don't really need a float to float your uh, your bait with that then all you do guys is you find the current in the middle of your lake and you dr you just let the let the current take you and you drift into that area you keep an eye on your depth finder and um, you're looking for structure and when structure comes starts coming up um, you just keep an eye on those rods and you'll usually get hit right around that time um, also you want to keep an eye on your depth you might have to let more line out so there's that um, very close to 500 subscribers so comment down below the funniest comment will get picked for the free mystery tackle box make sure you guys make sure you guys like and subscribe so you can get your free mystery tackle box when i hit 500 subscribers i will post a video that day announcing the winner funniest comment comment on all my videos subscribe and like to all my videos we'll see you guys next time thank you so much for watching